Hello everyone, welcome back to Two Point Hospital. We are in, of course, Mitten University. And let's see, impress the VIP, yes, we'll do that. And as you can see, right now, money is not really great. We're making a reasonable profit, but the expenses are still pretty, you know, brutal, really. Um, so, let's go back in there again. Now, um, let's see. Let's quickly check something because I have a horrible feeling. No, no, I am right. See, it is Mitten University. I've done that one. That's good. I thought for a second I was going mad. Um, and it's also a possibility that I am, but, you know, we'll have to move on from that. Now, why are they unhappy? Right, that needs to be done. I know the hospital's in debt. I can see our bank balance, thank you. Now, you can see we've got research going on. Um, let's do salary, make them a bit happier. And get some of these cleaned up and improved because you can see basically the plants are going to rot away and that's not a good thing smell disease and 72 grand in the hole ouch so you can just see we're just sort of checking over the general area really making sure that everything's working which it is um Got various staff promotions, which is not helping us because it's just taking more of the money. So yeah, I know they got free training slots, but we don't really have any training we can do. I mean, we could conceivably. Um, let's see. Who, see, yeah, there you go. So if we just do normal psychiatry. And then do that, then it won't cost us anything because our person is already a psychiatrist. But look at all these flipping rooms here. So we are going to need to build, once our money situation improves, we're going to have to buy a new area and we're probably going to have to build like a line of those guys all the way up there. Get rid of these. And... Yeah, that's a good idea. Um, and essentially, have it as a diagnosis area. So, that may be the best option for us. But we still need 50 grand to get that area. And another one there, you see. Freudian lips, there we go, we can deal with that in psychiatry. I'm told they're very good indeed. I'm glad. Keep up the sterling work, Sully. So at least the money's starting to go down. The the the, uh, the money in hock, as it were. So we're kind of getting there. It's just slow progress, really. And there's not really much we can do. Um, I know patients are being forced to stand. can't really do much at this current moment. See, now profit loss minus 25, you see. Ouch. Ooh, that's painful. Now, let's have a look at loans. See, all these, and that's a £100,000 loan, and that would just get us even. See what I mean? not ideal now obviously doctor is required in psychiatry but um, we are also training more psychiatrists as well so um, in that respect it means that it's going to take a little while until this training is complete and then we'll have more trained psychiatrists in there and they can assess assist 
with this particular thing you can see. Oh, that's interesting. You can actually choose some for diagnosis and some for treatment. So you can essentially say, okay, I'll diagnose you in this room and then treat you in that room. Hmm, interesting. That's interesting. That's very interesting. I like that a lot. Um, let's just give him a little bit of a pay rise, promote him. So, you can see we are generating research points. Um, let's try that with chest infections. So, the clowns are coming in now for some treatment with chest infection. Let's get that uh, maintained quickly. And you can see, because we don't have the money, we can't really upgrade anything in that regard. Let's get the colorizer maintained as well. He's not looking healthy. Oh, there we go. One of our uh, people is dealing with the ghost. It's getting very crammed around there. Not happy with how crammed that is, but there's not really a lot I can do at the moment. See what I mean? Look. 152,000. Okay. At least they've uh, given us some money for training. So. And there you go. The training course is now completed. So these psychiatry areas will start being populated again. We'll get doctors into here again as well. Helen Topsoil has sent and so hopefully. Saying, which never fails to bring a smile to her face. Life is like a carrot. It's your job to be a rabbit. Uh huh. Well, if nothing else, you'll have good eyesight, I suppose. I guess so, yes. Um, we can train more staff. One more staff, I think. We'll get this good training thing. So let's see what we can do. Diagnostics. Uh, let's get the doctor in. And we'll give that one and that one. And one more. There we go. So at least we've got that in there. Maybe, maybe we can turn it around with respect to the uh, the uh, finances. Maintenance announcement: Plants need water. There we go. Get the snack machine and everything dealt with. Fluid analysis research is complete. Excellent. So we've unlocked fluid analysis, but we don't have the money to buy anything. Which is annoying, but, you know. It also means we can't research anything else. Because we don't have the money yet. See? Green light fee. It would be nice to have an injection room and x-ray. But at least that value is going down. So essentially we want to kind of get to a situation where that value drops enough for us to do anything about it. I mean, we can't even buy additional bits and bobs, which is... Okay. See what I mean? Ah, uh, it may be that we have to restart Mitten University. We'll have to see how it goes for us. We're dealing with the circus incident. One's failed, which is slightly annoying. We failed the challenge from Kate Silver. Oh, dear. Never mind. Just like to put so many things in there, but we just don't have the money at the moment. Um, let us Maintenance announcement. Bins will become speed full. it up. Because then at least if we're going to go bankrupt, we might as well do it quickly. Mm. 
There we go. Gave us five grand for more training. And we trained ten staff. The bare minimum to make them smile. Thank you, Mitten University. Okay, so it looks like the dehumifier has broken down. So they're calling in a janitor to take care of that. And ouch. See what I mean? So we're losing three grand. But it's a lot less. Dispute between two point radio and the producer of Jumbo Nuts. Oh wait, hang on, it shouldn't actually say Jumbo Nuts. Can we do another, can we do another take? Okay, great. This is Two Point Radio. Okay, let's just get all those sorted out as well. Make them nice and smelly. Attention, urinating anywhere in the hospital will not be tolerated. Oh god, we got a ghost again. It's supposed to be a flipping um Oh, no. It's supposed to be a bloody uh, uh, psychiatry inflated ego. Yeah. It's supposed to be somebody coming in taking Kate. Uh, there we go. See, now we're at 220 grand. God damn it. Okay. Let's see, because let's close that. Just have a single. and see if that actually improves the situation a bit. See, 32 expenses, 66 grand, ouch. It's very possible we could go under. Doctor needed in GP's office. Right now, that's a bad situation. I mean, we could restart the level, but let's see how much of a complete pig's breakfast we can make of it. <sighs> so that's turned off. Um, there's supposed to be somebody dealing with that. Right, let's find some staff who deals with that. Come on. Come on, Audrey. Thank you, Audrey. Get in there and deal with him. Oh, for God's sake. Right, get over there, Audrey. Deal with the ghosts. Thank you. See, I'm wondering if the original design here shouldn't have just been more of these along here because of the number of people that we've got coming in. That, I think, is where the fundamental issue lies, the, the queue there. We're not queuing enough people. At the moment, I'm not going to give them any promotion. Well, I'm going to give them promotions, but I'm not going to give them pay rises to keep the value down. We'll have to wait and see how it turns out. Somebody's a bit bored there, but yeah, there's not really much I can do. Um, it's kind of tricky, really. Let's close that area as well. Two point radio. It is time to leave the woes of your petty, pointless little lives behind. Uh, Listen to the fountainhead of wisdom that is It's pretty close to us Some going bankrupt. Bickleworth, here on Two Point Radio. There we go. 
So, let's restart Mission University. And see if we can do a better job of it this time. What? I'm pretty sure I meant restart the level. Here we go. So here we are at Mitten University. And we want to put in some rooms for GP's offices. So we'll put in a room like that. Medicine cabinet helps them. Um... With a bin as well. And a hand sanitizer. So there we go. There's that. Now. I'm going to put one in there. And then. One there. Now I'm not going to put them both opposite each other. Because otherwise there will be too much clutter. So if we copy. Over to here. Like this. And do it that way. So, that means then, we can create a pharmacy here. Actually, let's close that. Oh yes, the reception will probably help. So let's do reception. Like that. Put it there. When first entering the hospital, please make your way to reception. Okay. See. See, I'm thinking, let's just pause this for a second. Um, reception. The thing is, is previously it was just too wide. Let's leave it like that, I think. And do it that way. So, um... Let's hire some assistants to go in there. Like so. And we'll also hire some doctors. Sebastian Nerd. What a fine name, sir. And then we shall get pharmacies here. We'll just leave it like that, it's three deep. Um, and then we'll put in a medicine cabinet as well, and a bin, and then obviously a fire extinguisher to help them put out any fires. Um, and it also means, because we left a bit of a gap, we can create some benches. How much money have we got? Okay. Um, let's go for a general diagnosis room as well. Get that in there. Um, put a medicine cabinet down here. And a filing cabinet as well. Give them something to keep records on. And the bin. And of course the extinguisher a la fire. So that's now in there as well. Now, um, let's see. What else do we need? We need a cardiology room. Like that. So the idea is they get done here and then they get pushed across to here. So um, that's really what we're looking at. Filing cabinets. Put a punching bag in here as well. And a bin. And of course our friend the fire extinguisher. Now, let's get some benches down. So people have got somewhere to sit 
while they're waiting for treatment. Because that's going to be obviously very important. And we've got space to put one in the center as well if we want to. Now, I um, need to do the same over here. Like so. Like that, which is good. So, um, what we need to consider is what we're going to put opposite this. Now, um, hmm. it could be that we put a couple of psychiatry rooms like that. Obviously, not with a door there, though. Um, so, if we keep them like that, that will be beneficial. Because if we put that there. Treatment bookcase there. Medicine cabinet over here. Like that. Now, what I think we might need to do is to copy that and put another one right next to it. So that we've got essentially the ability to treat lots of psychiatric patients. Now, um, we have 97 available, so we need to look at a uh, training room. Now, if we look at a training room here, like this, oh, that doesn't have to be a big one. We just need a little one so that we can, a little tiddler, so to speak, so that we can just get people in and train them. Um, let's see, put a whiteboard there. Um, what does that do? There we go. That helps training speed. As does the, um, what's it called? This thing. I'll put a couple in there as well. Now, what we need to do is get some doctors in. Like that. And get them training. But we also need some nurses. And we'd better hire another nurse there. And then they'll work in that area. So let's unpause. Um, so these guys will be trained in psychiatry. Um, can we hire any more doctors? Not yet. Janitors. We need some janitors. That's a good janitor to have. And we also need to put some bins in. So let's put some bins sort of there and there. Put one down here as well. And oh, radiators. So let's get some small radiators in for the people in the rooms. Just to heat the place up a bit. So it takes a bit of a chill off. Come on, stop pissing around. Thank you. There we go. And we can put larger radiators down here, like that. And we'll put another one there, just to heat that area. And that's kind of okay. Um, I have noticed, though, that we need a smallish radiator in the corner. Yep, that means you indeed. Temperature, of course. Yes, I'm dealing with that. Um, so, higher. Let's see. What assistance janitors? Let's hire two janitors. 
And, what other doctors? No, we don't have any more doctor options doctor right now. So you can see these guys are in the process of finishing their training. Once they finish their training, they'll be able to move into the psychiatry area. And we'll be able to have that training available to them. Now, another thing we're going to need is prettiness. So we are going to have to start sticking some plants in. So we'll plant there. Plant there. Plant on the end. Plant on the end. Can we put a plant here? We can, there we go. And we'll stick some plants here as well. Now, we just obviously want to tart the place up a little bit. For the doctors. So it's a little bit more pleasant for them. Um, because it is a little bit on the barren and uninteresting side of things right now. Oh dear, somebody's died. And we've got a ghost. Wonderful. So the question is, do we have a janitor? No, we don't have a janitor that if can do ghosting. So what we need to do is we need to get that and we need to do... Where is ghosting? Where's ghost catcher? Great. So, we've got a ghost that I can't deal with. That's annoying. And we can't really... ...deal with... ...anybody. So we can't actually get anybody in. I'm aware of that. Thank you, ghost. Oh, there you go. A bit of aggressiveness being taken out there. Um, let's see. Let's upgrade that machine. And he's complaining about being a bit cold. Okay. Let's put it there, then. I should warm him up a bit. There we go. So we're upgrading that, and illness has been discovered, bogwarts, staff training required, student nurse, we won't do that yet. So, let's see, can we hire, bingo, that's the girl we're after. She can now deal with that problem, and now that we've got... Essentially, we get more doctors in. Here we go. Hello, doctor. Like that. Then you can see, obviously, we've got a doctor here. There's going to be more doctors coming in. And we'll be able to deal with more problems. Now, right now, we haven't really got a lot of treatment availability. So... That's something that we're going to have to deal with now. So, if we look at a ward, now we could create one like that. Put a door there, a changing room there. And then put some nice beds in as well. There we go. Nurse required in general diagnosis. Like that. So we've got a way to treat people in the ward as well now, which is helpful. Um, he's still cold. Ah, he doesn't have a radiator. That's why. Let's put in, oh, hello, research license, that's helpful. And there we go, There's the, there goes the money. God damn it. Curses. But we have spent quite a bit. And now, 
my ever popular guide to good manners, in which I turn my attention to wedding etiquette. The first step should always be to decline the invitation. Okay. Isn't that proven possible? Perhaps you are the best man or heaven forfend the groom. Then pay attention to every detail of the ceremony and banquet so you may upgrade the machine. Them in okay. a loud, obnoxious voice. Right, so at least there uh, the money's improving. Um, let's we can upgrade that later when we've got the bit more money available to us. The same thing goes for the heart racer as well. So that's essentially the direction we're gonna go. Anyway. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you boys and girls have enjoyed. Um, feel free to feel free, no, feel free even to uh, chuck a comment down the bottom. Let us know what you think. Any guidance, any pointers you think might be helpful. Feel free to chuck them down there. They'll be more than gratefully received. Anyway, thanks again for watching. We'll see you soon.